Hi, I'm Miss Teresa. Welcome back to Make It Monday at the Bulk Springs Library. This is where we make creative crafts with inexpensive materials that you may have at your home or at your local store. So if you're ready, let's get started. Alright guys, so today we're going to make our Little Red Wagon. This is a perfect uh, craft for Thanksgiving or Christmas uh, centerpiece in your middle of your table or in your fireplace, however you want to do it. So first you're going to start off with a brownie pan. I got this at the Dollar Tree. You're going to need a spatula. Um, mine is just black with a little red on it. It's a tulip to you if you want a metal one. It doesn't really matter. Um, the original craft I saw had little magnet um, cups or containers. I found these little um, mason jar tins. These are perfect for what we're going to need. They come and I large pack so you have plenty of them to work with because you're not really going to have the wagon move and you're going to put lightweight stuff in there so these are perfect okay um, you can have twine that's an option um, you will need a glue gun and your glue sticks um, whatever variety you have and then you're going to need paint you're going to need black white that's for the wheels and you're going to need red or if you choose a different color for your wagon I've seen white I've seen a really pretty robin's egg whatever color you choose and then I find if you get a little sandpaper and we're going to sand our um, wagon that makes the paint stick a little better on it um, after we sand it it just adheres a little better okay so that's our first step so let me get through this and we'll be back I didn't do the bottom because we're not going to paint the bottom, okay? So, the very first thing we're going to do is paint this pan. Um, you need a wide brush. You can use a foam brush, a really wide brush, um, whatever one you want. Oh, that's another thing you're going to need is a variety of brushes, okay? So, I'm going to just start off with a wider brush. And we just, this is just an acrylic. Um, you can use chalk if you want however you want to do it and you will need to do at least two coats on this okay so what we're going to do is we're going to paint all the inside and then around the outside don't paint the bottom okay so we'll be right back okay guys so that's what our pan looks like after two coats of paint it's not excuse me it's not dry yet so we're going to move it to the side and we're going to paint the wheels so give me a moment we'll be right back so a piece of advice that I found out the hard way and whenever you paint it make sure you set it on top of something because if you set it straight on the paper it'll rip, stick to the paper and rip okay so just FYI, a piece of a tip all right so we need four of these because our wagon has four wheels and these come tend to pack so you could get two and a half wagons out of a pack so and I still have red all over me story of my life sorry okay so we're gonna get the black can I get the lid off yeah okay so we're gonna get the black acrylic and we're just gonna go and paint this and then make sure you go around the edge as well as the actual lid because you don't want any of that gold to show, okay? Or brass, whatever you want to call it. And you could take sandpaper to this because if you can see close enough, you see some of it's having a tough time taking the paint. Um, you can just uh, take your sandpaper to these if you want before you start, which I forgot. Or you can um, just put two coats of paint, which I will do. Okay. Just going over the edge first. And then these are just going to lay down. Let me see if I can get a little closer, guys. you see 
it all. So we're just giving it a rough paint. Now remember on the little red, uh, the rider, uh, sorry, the roadie, uh, radio flyer wagons, they had, I guess you would call them little white hubcaps, little white centers. So that's what we're going to do with our wagon today. We're going to leave the, we're going to paint the center white, okay? So we're going to give about that much of it paint on black, okay? So we're going to repeat the same process for these other three, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're back. We're letting the wheels finish drying after our second coat of black paint. I did have some white paint to paint the center, but I didn't like the way it turned out. I found some mailing labels that I just cut circles out of and stuck those on for the hubcaps. That way they're all the right size. So we're going to let them finish drying, and we'll be back to assemble. All right, guys, we're back. We're going to glue the wheels onto the pan, and we're going to just use our hot glue gun for that. And then we're going to get the spatula, and we're going to go right underneath here to make a handle, okay? So I'm going to start with gluing my spatula on to my wagon. And I want to push it all the way up as far as I can get it. And then I'm just going to glue this to that, okay? So we're just going to put tons and tons of hot glue. You're just going to put as much of it as you can. And remember to work very, very fast because this glue will dry very fast because your pan is cold, okay? So you want to go literally as fast as you can on this. Um, you can also use E6000. Um, the thing with the E6000 though is that it does not dry instantaneous. So you will have to let it dry um, a couple hours or even overnight. Or you can even do a combination of E6000 and your hot glue. that down. I'm sorry my pot's not my pan's not quite dry. I got it on my finger but that's okay. All right so that's how that looks okay. So now we're going to add the wheels and again using the hot glue. I don't know if you can see it very well but we're just putting some glue down and we're taking one of the wheels Put in there and press and hold and then we're going to repeat the process all the way around okay So there is our little red wagon, perfect centerpiece for your table. Um, great for Thanksgiving or Christmas. All right. So the only other thing you might want to do is um, you can put a ribbon on the handle. You can also take the twine if you want, wrap your handle around um, this part so that way it doesn't quite look like a spatula. Um, and then you're just going to take Whatever you have, I have a pumpkin. We're going to throw that in there. Oh, sorry. We're going to have some stuffing for um, a gift bag. So we're just going to put that in there because it's fall color. Get back in there. And then we'll put the pumpkin there. And then I got some flowers. Just take some flowers and put in here. leaves all right I think that'll 
be about it. So that is our Thanksgiving centerpiece for our table. It's a little red wagon. Now if you had a Cricut, you could use, write, um, print out the one that says uh, rodeo, uh, radio flyer, um, but I don't, and I think it looks just cute without it. Thank you for joining us for this week's Make It Monday. I hope you had fun making our craft. Remember to like, share, comment. We love seeing your creations. So until next time, bye.